Question number 7 says that a kite in the shape of a square with diagonal 32 cm and an isosceles triangle of base 8 cm and 6 cm each is to be made of three different shades as shown in figure 12.17. So we can see that region 1 is of the shade blue, region 2 is of the shade white, region 3 is of the shade light blue. We have to find how much paper of each shade has been used in it. So let's highlight the three different regions that we have. Now, the upper region, that is the region 1 plus region 2, is in the shape of a square with diagonal 32 centimeters. So let's write 32 centimeters here. And as it is a square, let each of its side be A and A. And this angle will be equal to 90 degrees. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem to the triangle blue which is highlighted and so we get a square plus a square equals 32 the whole square. So that will give us 2a square equals 32 times 32. So we get to know that a square which is the area of the square equals 32 times 32 divided by 2. So we get the area of the square to be equal to 512 centimeters square. Now as the diagonal divides the square into two equal triangles, the area of region 1 will be equal to 512 divided by 2. So that comes as 256 centimeter square. Also, the area of region 2 will also be the same that is 512 divided by 2 which comes as 256 centimeter square. So these are the areas or we can say this much of paper has been used to make the triangle for shade 1 and shade 2. Now let's try and find the area for shade 3. The region 3 is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides as 6 centimeters and 6 centimeters with base 8 centimeters. We do not know the height of this triangular region so we will have to make use of the Heron's formula to find its area. Heron's formula says area A for any given triangle equals under root S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S is the semi perimeter while A, B, C are the three side lengths of a given triangle. So we will have to find the semi perimeter first which can be found by adding up the three side lengths and dividing it by 2. So we add 6 plus 6 plus 8 centimeters and let's divide that by 2. On calculation we get the semi perimeter S of the triangular region to be equal to 10 centimeters. Now that we have found out the semi perimeter, let's find the area of the third region which will be equal to under root 10 times 10 minus 6 times 10 minus 6 times 10 minus 8 centimeter square. This one for the calculation comes as under root 10 times 4 times 4 times 2 centimeter square. So this one for the calculation comes as 8 under root 
5 centimeter square so if we substitute the value of under root 5 we write it as 8 times 2.24 centimeter square so that gives us the area of region 3 to be equal to 17.92 centimeter square so the answer for this question will be the area of region 1 is 256 centimeter square area of region 2 is also 256 centimeter square and the area of region 3 is 17.92 centimeter square to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers